Hi, I'm Carla Negron, and I am on MyWashLifestyle.com. Puerto Rico where I live and I have my art studio and my lovely family and I paint like a maniac like really so it just they they loved me and they just wanted me here to be with them so here I am I approach art it's very unique in the sense that it depends on deeply on me you know I am the source and the power of my own art. I am the light of my own art. But it's very sweet because I have the ability to emancipate myself from my own creativeness to have a very solid ground when people and spectators come and interfere with my art. People connect and feel part of it. They feel exclusiveness with the way I pursue my art and I go about it. I don't usually put a tag on my art but if you have to connect it with a school you sh it should be like a very expressionist and loud very loud kind of movement I got my own you know my own flow going on I love collaborations I think it's magical when two brands come together and create something super unique in existence without those two big ass mind you know getting it together so I was approached by coach the handbags coach 1941 New York and they were very interested in working with me because of the palette of the colors I use are very unique and they're very bright and they're very spring and summer like it was magnificent the, the result of this collaboration and we presented it in Macy's in Puerto Rico and now we are going worldwide. I expect to provoke, I want to provoke, to seduce, to seduce the spectator into my world, into the power of that has been given to me through art, of beauty and equality. Because when I see a man standing in front of a painting that I have created, it doesn't matter if you have education, it doesn't matter if you don't, it doesn't matter anything. The both of them go, wow. And that for me is beauty. That moment is precious. Because I experiment the ability to bring us together in a beautiful equality of platform of love and beauty. And that's it. That's for me, that does it. I started getting into washes because I grew up seeing my daddy just dreaming of having this Patek Philippe and in the process he collected these magnificent washes you know he rocked the Neva and he rocked the Tima in college and then he got a golden Rolex in 1971 and the, the vintage Rolex, Rolex that is called Date that is a steel and gold very lovely and then he started with the Omega, the Seamaster, the Omega Constellation, a very rare vintage piece of the 1969. So I just looked at him and I saw the beauty and the love, the true love he had for these art pieces because I didn't see them as just a watch, as a time, you know. They're so much complex and so many hours and a man crash and it's just it's just so exclusive and beautiful to have a nice wash on your wrist it's part of you it's art it's part of who you are it's a statement i like from okay let's go from little to big because you know i go straight to the p baby so um, right now, I like the ro Rotary. Um, I really love those little watches. They're from England. 
and they are very well made with very beautiful materials like mother of pearl and the diamonds you got you can have gold but their target market is very small english style very luxury and very accessible to the public um in the other in the other corner we have i love bomber i love the style of a bomber it's that mid-size wash and it fits the wrists of every European woman and big bone women like myself. So it's amazing. I love bomber sears. They are superb. And the big band is a Patek Philippe. A Calatrava. Simple, elegant, and every hand, everything handmade. I think that's it. That's the goal, to have a big ass Patek Philippe. <laughs> Why not?